Is this table red? No, it's actually every color except red. It only seems red because it reflects red light waves. Light waves themselves aren't even colored. Our eyes and brain just process these waves in a way we can see them. Animals can process different types of waves found within the electromagnetic spectrum. For example, snakes process infrared waves and birds process ultraviolet waves. Okay, back to humans. The way we see and process light is pretty awesome, and we will learn two color theories in order to get a better understanding of it. But in order to understand it, let's start with the basics. This is where it all starts, the human eye. The light enters the eye through the pupil and is focused by the lens. Kind of like a magnifying glass focusing tiny images, or glasses focusing blurry ones. The light hits the back of the eye called the retina. The retina contains two common photoreceptors called rods and cones. The rods help us see the outlines of shapes, and cones process the colors that we see. Once a retina processes what we see, the information is passed through the optic nerve, where the blind spot is, and makes its way to our brain. Okay, now that we've got the basics, let's get on to the color theories. As stated by the young Helmholtz trichromatic, or three color theory, we humans have three types of cones that process the primary colors of light, red, green, and blue. These primary colors of light are what create every other color that we see. So if a certain color of light enters our eyes, a certain combination of cones associated with that color is activated. So if you're looking at the color magenta, both red and blue processing cones would activate, sending those signals to the brain. Hmm, this theory is great, but does not solve everything. For instance, we don't know why there are certain colors we can't see. But to dig a little deeper, let's look at a more comprehensive theory. According to this theory, there are three sets of opposing processes that create our color vision. Red, green, yellow, blue, and black, white. In the retina and the thalamus, a part of the brain responsible for sensory signals, certain neurons are activated by one color, but then deactivated by its opposite. This is why we can see magenta as a combination of red and blue, but can't see a reddish green or a bluish yellow, because those colors would just cancel each other out. Okay, I know what you're going to ask. How come we could still see colors created by blue and yellow or red and green? Well, you see, you're mixing pigment, not light. I warn you, the art color wheel is different than the light color wheel. So let's review what we just learned. Light enters our eyes and is focused onto the retina. Rods and cones in the retina process the light and send signals through the optic nerve to the brain. The trichromatic color theory explains that combinations of red, green, and blue sensitive cones activate in response to light waves being reflected off of objects creating the colors that we see. The opponent process theory explains that neurons in the retina and thalamus are activated by one color but then deactivated by its opposite, explaining why there are certain colors we can't see. Wow! We went over two color theories in just three minutes. Well, I hope you learned something today and thanks for watching!